Well, also tonight, as lawmakers continue to debate recreational marijuana in Albany, they are looking at it from a lot of perspectives, criminal justice reform, taxes, and of course, revenue. Now, potential passage would also have a big impact on law enforcement and in ways you might not have thought of. There is a canine connection to cannabis. Channel 2's Michael Wooten investigates in this Two on Your Side original. They help find people who are lost. Good boys. Detect drugs, explosives, accelerants, and even serve as therapy dogs. Just some of the jobs of the country's 10,000 canine officers. What kind of difference do these canines make? They're a tremendous tool. They really are a, a deputy and they're very vital to uh, the drug and addiction operations that we do. And now that we have these outdoor concerts, obviously the, the bills and the sabers and county buildings, you know, there's a lot of explosive detection work that we do as well, if, even if it's just a simple clearing. The Erie County Sheriff's Office has one of the largest canine units in the state with almost a dozen and a half police dogs with different specialties. We could expand. Uh, we could have a lot more uh, because it, there's demand out there. But with Albany poised to pass recreational marijuana, the Sheriff's Office narcotics canines are being forced into early retirement. Although their noses still work fine, the fact is we can't untrain them from the scent of marijuana. There are serious legal issues at play. Take a court ruling in Colorado where cannabis is legal. A man had meth in his car discovered by a drug dog, but a judge tossed out the evidence because that canine was trained to detect marijuana. So we'll never know what the dog actually smelled. Was it legal pot or illegal meth? We can't get a probable cause for us to search the car, and that is the key thing that these dogs are for. The sheriff here is being proactive. Recreational marijuana isn't fully legal yet, but you're doing this because we all anticipate it's a matter of when, right? Well, yeah, just listening to the rhetoric that came out of Albany and, and, and seeing some political will towards this, we had to be in front of this because if all the agencies one day go out to bid, well, the prices are going to go up because of supply and demand. New York State Police's K-9 unit has 107 total teams, including 58 narcotics dogs. While there are no plans yet to retire those trained to detect marijuana, that scent was left out of the training for the last two K-9 classes. The Buffalo Police Department has a drug dog currently in the academy. It, too, is not being trained to detect marijuana, although BPD has no immediate plans to retire the canines that are alerted to cannabis. Replacing the dog is expensive. The Erie County Sheriff's Office spent 40,000 bucks just to purchase its four new narcotics canines. But it didn't cost taxpayers a penny. Instead, convicted drug dealers unwittingly picked up the tab. We appreciate the irony of using drug uh, assets to purchase these dogs so we can enhance the, the law enforcement efforts around here and our drug interdiction. Good job. Now that the new canines are purchased, they're at home getting to know their handlers. Next will come the hard part. The training is extensive. Very much so. They'll be training every day. Training will include tracking, police service and handler protection, and then narcotics scent detection, the smell test. Sit. Until the new canines are ready, the current ones remain on the force and on the job. The big question, though, what will happen to them once they're replaced? These dogs have served this community so well. You want them taken care of in retirement? Uh, absolutely. Once they are officially out of service, they're going to stay with their handlers. And, and, you know, that's a big deal for the handlers, not only as a partner, but it becomes somewhat of a family pet. Four-legged deputies who will get some rest after a job well done. A job very well done. We should all be thankful that these canines are out there kind of on patrol for us. By the way, the uh, training for the new canines is expected to start pretty soon. And to give you a sense of how extensive it is, it's going to take about six months to complete. Wow. So it'll be sometime later this year that those dogs will be officially retired and get to live out the rest of their days in, in some comfort. Well, this is really <laughs> a big legal issue is what started the whole That's thing. That's what's prompting this. Right. We look at a state like Colorado and courts right. have found that if the dogs can consent marijuana, yeah. That messes up the whole probable cause issue. And so the Erie County Sheriff's Office is being proactive. I think a lot of other departments are going to follow suit. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it's just another addition, another added expense that when yeah. you talk about legalizing marijuana, that comes along with Got it. Got to factor it in. Yep. All righty. Thanks, Michael. Yep. All right, let's check in with Maria.